Hi, Dr. Lindsay here. Let me tell you about my philosophy on fillers and uh, neurotoxins. And what I'm talking about are things like Botox and Juvederm. I think these are great intro procedures for younger patients that uh, don't need any kind of surgery yet uh, and just want to slow down the effects of aging when compared to their peers. Or for people who are older as an adjuvant to surgery, they maybe need to uh, add a little something over and above whatever surgery they have. Uh, there's two uh, real uh, groups of, of these type of procedures. One is neurotoxins, which is essentially Botox. There are a couple other brands. I prefer Botox. It, uh, works consistently and uh, uh, it's relatively easy to uh, place with minimal risk. Uh, we've been doing Botox on people since 1994 and it's ideal for that frown line between the eyebrows, the horizontal lines across the forehead, and the crow's feet. Although I'll admit that once you get past 40 or 45, the crow's feet uh, tend to be much harder to uh, get to go away just because your skin's getting older. And the other group of uh, of these type of procedures is fillers and I'm a big fan of Juvederm and Radius. Uh, both I think they're safe, they both have pros and cons to be discussed at your appointment, but they're good for plumping up these lines or plumping up this. Uh, I'm relatively conservative on all these procedures. I don't like you to look uh, very plasticky when you get done. Uh, so please come in and you can talk to uh, uh, our patient coordinator who's had all of these procedures done as well as see a number of before and after pictures. Uh, thank you. Thank you.